Welcome to the Dynamis and Kiro AI Coding Hackathon. This is your chance to use Kiro, a very powerful coding agent, to build any project that you could imagine and compete for your chance at part of the $17,000 prize pool. I was actually talking to the Kiro team way back in July of last year about doing this hackathon. Now, finally, we are partnering up together to bring this event to you, and I could not be more excited. So as an introduction to the event right now, I want to quickly show you what this hackathon is all all about how you can make a submission and compete and then also there is a quick start guide that I want to cover at a high level for you right now there is also a video that I have for this landing page which I'll link to in the description if you want to watch the full guide where I actually go through the entire quick start in detail definitely check this out right here so right now just a quick introduction to get you in the know for this really exciting event and so this hackathon has officially started. January 5th, that's when this video is coming out, and the submission period will go until January 23rd. And then at that point, we have the judging period, figuring out who won the competition. And then I'll be announcing the winners on a live stream that I'm doing on February 7th on my YouTube channel. And all you have to do to register for this hackathon, which you can do at any point during the submission period, is just click on the nice big join the hackathon button right here. That will direct you to create an account in the Dynamis community. So if you're not a member of Dynamis already, it'll open up this Kiro Hackathon section for you. And then if you are a member of Dynamis already, you'll just have this along with everything else that we already have in the community. So this is a spot that is open to the public because this hackathon is open to everyone. This community is where I'll be making all announcements for the hackathon. And so you'll see these in the primary hackathon channel and I'll be sure to send all announcements to your email as well. And once you're registered and you're in the community here, also be sure to read this pinned post. I have the link here to make your submission. And then also everything that you need to know at a high level is laid out right here. I just want to make it as easy as possible for you to participate and have a good time, learn a lot and potentially win something big. And one thing that I want to cover before I get into what you can build for the hackathon is getting your free credits for the competition. I will be sending out emails in waves throughout the first week of the event, getting you your code so you can claim your free credits. But you don't have to wait for that to get started because if you create a Kiro account right now, you get 500 bonus credits that you can use within 30 days. And so you can make a new account if you want. If you already have a Kiro account, you probably already have these credits applied. And so you don't have to pay anything to get started. 500 credits will take you very far using Kiro and then you can claim your other credits very soon. And then going back to our main page, I want to scroll down and talk about what you can build for the event. And it's actually pretty easy to talk about this because literally the only requirement is that you use Kiro. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because I'm partnering with the Kiro team to bring this event to you. They're the ones who are sponsoring with the prize pool as well. They're not sponsoring me personally. Literally, they're only sponsoring the prize pool. And so you have to use Kiro. But other than that, the theme is completely open. You can build any kind of application that your heart desires that you can imagine. So you can build web apps, AI agents, CLI tools, APIs and microservices, automation tools. You could build a mobile application. It is entirely up to you. There's probably a dozen other categories that I'm not even thinking about here, but the world is your oyster. The possibilities are endless. And so I've got the documentation for either the Kiro CLI or IDE linked right here if you want to learn how to use these tools. But also I have a quick start guide that I'll talk about in a little bit that makes it very easy for you to begin your project to compete in the hackathon and use Kiro. And so the CLI is preferred, but you can use either in order to compete in this hackathon and build your application. And then so you know exactly how your submission will be judged, I also have the judging criteria laid out here. So application quality, how well you used Kiro, the CLI or IDE if you want, uh, how well you documented your project, more on that in a little bit, how unique or innovative your solution is, and then also the presentation, because as a part of your submission, we are asking for for just a simple two to five minute demo video. And honestly, the biggest reason that I wanna require this as well is because I want to see you excited about your project as you show it to us. And then the other thing, as far as documentation goes, there are some things that we want you to include in your submission beyond just the source code, because we want to see not just your finished project, but your actual AI coding process as you're working with Kiro. And so that includes your steering documents. These are global rules. That's what Kiro calls global rules. 
You have your prompts or commands. These are the workflows that you define in Markdown. And then also your devlog. And so the devlog is where you can document your timeline, decisions that you made, challenges that you encountered and how you address those. Basically just your entire development journey of your solution. We want you to document that. And you can really do it in any kind of format that suits you best. And so all together, your submission will have the source code, a documentation, a readme so that we can get the project running ourselves. And then your demonstration video and just be sure to submit this by January 23rd before midnight Pacific time. And now the very last thing that I want to cover with this page here before I go on to the quick start is the rules and I'll keep it nice and simple here. And so the main thing is this is not a team competition. You have to have an individual submission and you can only make one submission. Now you can feel free to work on many different projects for the competition, but you have to pick one in the end to submit to us. And back in the community there, I have that link for the submission form. It's going to look like this. And so you just go through this, fill in everything. Once you have your project complete, you can either upload as a zip file or link us to a public GitHub repository. So entirely up to you how you share your project. And then your video, your demo video can be an unlisted YouTube video, a Loom link, whatever you want to send us for that. Now, the very last thing that I want to cover for you is the quick start. And I put a lot of time into building this template for you to make it as easy as possible to get over that initial hurdle of starting your project to compete. And so I linked to this quite a few spots throughout the homepage here. And so this is a GitHub repository that you can use as a template. You can just clone it locally. And there are instructions here, both to get your project started for the hackathon and how to use Kiro at a high level. And so the Kiro guide markdown right here, this is actually a fantastic resource if you are familiar with other AI coding assistants, but you want to see what's different with Kiro and how you use Kiro specifically. So I cover what makes it different, installation instructions for different operating systems. This is for the Kiro CLI. So I have focused on the CLI for the quick start, but a lot of these things like how you set up your .kiro folder with your steering documents and your prompts, all of that will translate to the IDE as well. So I cover all of those core concepts, even some of the more advanced things like tangent mode and knowledge management between sessions, sub agents, MCP servers. Kiro is a very feature rich AI coding assistant. And so if you go through the readme here, it'll guide you through everything from start all the way to getting the first features built for your project for the hackathon. And so I have this quick start command here that'll actually ask you questions to walk you through defining the steering documents that will help guide your coding agent going forward as you're building your project. And I also have a ton of workflow commands built into the template that you can use. And so this is an example development workflow that you can go through as you're building your project with Kiro. And so you can take a lot of creative freedom here. You don't have to follow the suggestions and commands that I have for you here, but if you want to, and there's also a lot of really solid strategies that built into this, you can definitely feel free to do so. And again, I have a lot more information on using the quick start in the video right here. So I'll link to this page and the quick start in the description of this video. And that my friend is everything that I need to cover to introduce you to the Dynamis and Kiro hackathon. I hope to see you compete in the event. I'm really, really excited for this. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions at all as you get started with the event.